You know this is your fault, right? I know. You know, at one point, I thought I could trust you, and maybe I was too quick to judge you, but you've proven you're just like Brett Fiore and Alec. You're a no good troublemaker. Anything to win money, right? Shows your character through and through. Okay, I'm not about to be shamed for wanting to win. As if you don't. Why would you vote with them in the first place? They betrayed you. After we voted out Fiori and Alec, who would have been next? All right, fine. It would have been you. See why I did what I did? It doesn't bother me that you kicked Tom out. It's a game after all. But maybe you should have done things in a way where they wouldn't get hurt. It was the only way, Miriam. I'm sorry. Damn. We need someone with batteries if we want to be able to see. We can find the exit without a flashlight. Don't talk nonsense. We'll have to get help from one of the others. What do you need? I hate to say it, but the girl's got a point, Jake. Give her your flashlight. But- Just give it to her. Okay. You meant for this to happen, didn't you, you brat? <laughs> Jake, hang on, I'm coming. Guess you won't be needing this. What the hell is the matter with you? You can't steal from an old lady. Come on, Jake. I'll walk you out. It's okay, Jake. We can't change the past. Thank you so much for supporting me. Everything from my grandmother to Tom. Don't fret, kid. I thought I wouldn't open up to anyone here. But you were patient with me and taught me that I shouldn't judge people so quickly. You may be down, but you're not out. Play your butt off, Miriam. We'll see each other when this is all over, okay? I'd like that. These people voted out Tom and Jake. They fooled me time and time again. They think my days are numbered, but they don't realize who they're messing with. No more Mrs. Nice Gran.